Giant stories have been told to everyone when they're young. As you grow up, you're bound to believe that it's not actually true and giants don't exist because you haven't seen them. That might be true to some extent, but we're not sure of what people used to look like centuries back. Researchers believe that people used to be really tall, tall enough to be called giants. And if you look at history, there have been people recorded who've had gigantic heights. Let's take a look at a list of real giants who've existed in this world in recent times. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe. Number 10. Fyodor Makhanov Fyodor Makhanov was born in Belarus in June 1878. He started growing rapidly at age 8 and measured 200 centimeters or 6 feet 7 inches when he was 14. He wore custom-made clothes and shoes and slept on a custom-made bed. His boots reached the waist of normal-sized people. His children often hid inside his boots when playing hide-and-seek. Makhanov joined the circus when he was 14 but started performing at 16. Although sources vary about his height, he would later reach approximately 250 centimeters as he grew into adulthood. Scientists often met him to ask for contracts for ownership of his corpse, but he always refused over fears that he could be murdered. He later married Efrosinja Lebedeva, who was 100 meters shorter than him, even though she was taller than most women. They had a girl and three boys. Makhanov had a huge appetite. Every day he consumed a hefty breakfast of 20 eggs, 8 loaves of bread, and 2 liters of tea. For lunch, he consumed a kilogram of potatoes, 2.5 kilograms of meat, and 3 liters of beer. He died in 1912. Number 9. Adam Rayner Adam Rayner is the only known dwarf who ended up becoming a giant. He was born in Graz, Austria in 1899. He tried joining the army when World War I broke out, but he was rejected because he was too short. He measured only 138 centimeters. A dwarf is anyone below 147 centimeters. He tried again the following year, but was rejected another time. At 19, he measured 143 centimeters, which is still considered a dwarf. Rainier started growing at age 21, eventually reaching an astonishing 216 centimeters. His spinal cord curved as he grew taller, while his face and jaws got bigger. He underwent surgery to stop his pituitary gland from creating more growth hormones. The surgery did not stop him from growing, but merely reduced the rate at which he grew. His health was affected by his condition, and he soon went blind in one eye and deaf in one ear. Ultimately, his curved spine caused him to become bedridden, and he died at age 51, reaching a height of 234 centimeters. Number 8. Anna Haining Anna Haining Bates, born in Millbrook, Nova Scotia in August 1846, was just like every other child until she started growing taller. At age 5, she was 142 centimeters and weighed over 45 kilograms. By the time she was 22, she was 229 centimeters and weighed 159 kilograms. Bates went into show business at the age of 16. She often appeared with a dwarf standing beside her for greater effect. In July 1865, she was almost burned to death in a fire at Barnum's Museum. The stairs were on fire and she was too tall to jump out the window. She was saved when employees broke the walls and lifted her out with a crane. In 1871, she met another giant, Martin Van Buren Bates, who was 221 centimeters, even though he's often said to have been 234 centimeters. They got married and were often exhibited in circuses as the largest married couple in the world. Their house was oversized, with 2.6 meter high doors and extra large furniture. The couple had two children, but both died at birth. Number 7. Zan Shichai In the 1840s, Zan Shichai was born in China. He grew to be 236 centimeters, which is around 7 feet and 1 inch tall, and was appointed a member of the emperor's court. He later left China for England for what was supposed to be a brief visit, but ended up spending two years there. During that time, thousands of people paid three shillings just to see him. Zan went on to tour the rest of Europe and was sometimes exhibited alongside a dwarf. In 1881, he joined P.T. Barnum Circus. He had lots of female admirers and was often asked if he was married. Zan died in 1893. According to his wishes, his funeral was attended by only 50 friends. His coffin was 2.6 meters long. Number 6. Joseph Edward Beaupre Joseph Edward Beaupre was born in Willowbunch, Saskatchewan on January 9, 1881. His parents were of average height, so was he until the age of 3 when he started growing abnormally. By the time he was 9, he'd outgrown his parents. At 12, he was 198 centimeters and at 17, 216 centimeters. It was at this age that he lifted a 363 kilogram, 800 pound horse, which is his lifetime achievement. Beaupre continued growing, reaching 251 centimeters in 1904. He wore gigantic, custom-made, size 22 shoes. He tried to become a cowboy, but he dumped the plans because his feet touched the ground while he was on his horse. 
At age 21, he joined a circus. This took its toll on him, and he often had problems sleeping. He also suffered from tuberculosis, which made him cough a lot. He died on July 3, 1904, at age 23 after coughing up blood and becoming unconscious after a performance. Number 5. Patrick Cotter Patrick Cotter was born in Kinsale, Ireland on January 19, 1760. He grew to be 246 centimeters, making him the first of 13 known people to grow past 244 centimeters above 8 feet. At 18, he worked as a bricklayer. He didn't need a ladder to reach the top of cottages like the rest of his colleagues. Instead, he just stretched his hands to do whatever he wanted to do. He later went into show business where he called himself O'Brien, after several fabled tall Irish kings. Cotter moved around in a specially made carriage. Once the carriage was stopped by a highwayman who fled upon seeing Cotter inside. His exceptional weight took its toll on his body, leading to his death on September 8, 1806 at age 46. Number 4. Arthur Calley Arthur Calley was born in 1824. He was of normal size until his late teens when he suddenly started growing taller. He reached 241 centimeters, around 8 feet, and weighed over 178 kilograms. This earned him the name the Manx Giant. Unlike most giants, he was not tall and slim because he also increased in width. Cayley frequently appeared in exhibits in Manchester, London, and Paris before suddenly disappearing. His mother said that he was dead and buried. Some doubted this because his life had been insured for 2,000 pounds only a few weeks earlier. They believed that his supposed death was an insurance fraud and that a tree had been buried in his place. In reality, Cayley was not dead. He traveled to the United States where he joined P.T. Barnum Circus. He was exhibited as Colonel Ralph Goshen, the Arabian Giant. His former life as the Manx Giant remained a well-kept secret until his death in 1889. Number 3. Robert Wadlow Robert Wadlow was born on February 22, 1918. He was of normal size at birth but quickly started growing. At five, he was already 163 centimeters, five and a half feet tall, and was wearing clothes intended for teenagers. At eight, he was taller than his 180 centimeter tall father and could even carry him up the stairs of their home. When Robert joined the Boy Scouts at age 13, he had his uniform, tent, and sleeping bag specially made for him. Wadlow reached 245 centimeters above eight feet at 17, making him the tallest teenager ever. In 1936, he joined the Ringling Brothers Circus as a curiosity. He had a huge appetite and ate 8,000 calories a day. Unfortunately, he had problems walking. Wadlow often wore braces on his legs and used a walking stick. Nevertheless, he continued growing. This became a problem when he received a poorly fitted brace in 1940. Just one week earlier, the brace caused a blister on his ankle that quickly became infected. The infection killed him on July 15, 1940. He was just 22 years old. His coffin was 3.3 meters long, 81 centimeters wide, and 76 centimeters deep. The last time Wadlow was measured was June 27, 1940. He was 272 centimeters. His hands and feet were 32.3 centimeters and 47 centimeters long, respectively, making them the longest ever. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number two, it seems like this picture is photoshopped as we were not able to find anything related to it on the internet. We believe the reason behind someone making an edit like this, there are people in the world, mainly bodybuilders, who have an abnormal growth of body parts, but they are not as tall. But even with that, they don't have a body which is as ripped as the one in this picture. We believe that achieving this form is impossible. Number one, Bernard Coyne, aka Bernard the Giant, was born in Anthon, Iowa on July 27, 1897. His height is disputed. Some say he was 249 centimeters, others say he was 254 centimeters, and still many say he was 264 centimeters. Whichever it was, he was over 244 centimeters, which is 8 feet, which is so tall that he was rejected by the army during World War I. Unlike most other extremely tall people whose unusual heights are caused by abnormalities in the pituitary gland, Bernard's height resulted from unicoidal infantile gigantism, a rare syndrome. His parents placed him on exhibit for money when he was younger, but stopped over fears that they might incur God's wrath. Bernard turned down several requests to exhibit himself as he grew older and preferred living a quiet life. His shoes were a massive size 24, and he weighed 136 kilograms. He died on May 20th, 1921 at age 23. He is the biggest giant recorded in recent history. That's our list of the 10 real giants that have existed in recent history. I would never want to be that tall and gigantic.
Tell us in the comments if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.